I'm Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Time Tip. On today's video, I'm on the FM9 with the full release of Firmware 5. Firmware 5 for the FM9 and Firmware 7 for the FM3 bring the Dynacabs feature from the Axe FX3 to both units. So now all fractal audio devices give you the full range of Dynacabs on there. Previously, when talking about Dynacabs, I focused on the 4x12 and 2x12 Dynacabs. So I thought it might be nice to look at four different combinations of smaller speakers with low wattage amps. And to do that, we're going to start off with the 5F1 Tweed and the matching Dynacab. You can see where I've positioned the condenser mic on this Dynacab at the moment. The amp, really easy to dial in because there's one control, gain. Turn it all the way up and then use your guitar volume control to basically give you more or less gain. I have a parametric EQ doing a low cut at 80 hertz and a high cut at 10K and a little bit of the studio reverb type on here. I am gonna play with this mic position on here and maybe show you a few different mics just to get this in the sweet spot. But basically wide open this amp is pretty rude and gnarly. <laughs> It is a great reminder that even though you can use the Fractal ecosystem to really polish up your tones and take all the kind of nasty stuff out of them, you can still have stuff that is super nasty and gnarly sounding. And this 5F1 Tweed, like I said, it's so easy. Just turn the gain all the way up, uh, move a virtual mic around on the matching Dynacab, a little bit of high cut and low cut reverb, a little bit of the bend of fuzz in there is super, super fun. And you got yourself a great gnarly early rock and roll sound or blues tone. Let's go to scene two on here because I have got the Princeton model on here. I've gone with Prince Tone 5F2. I have the matching Dynacab at the stock settings. Nothing else has changed. This is a beautiful sounding clean app. I'm going to go to the neck pickup tapped. So it's not on the humbucker mode here. It's acting as a single coil. And I find here you just have to adjust the gain and turn the tone control up or down to taste. I like this with the condenser mic at stock settings. It's beautiful. <laughs>
with that bend of fuzz, but then turning the guitar volume control down to kind of sweeten the fuzz tone on there and adding this gorgeous bias trim on there. It sounds like an entire era in there. I love that. The Princeton is a great pedal platform as well. If you want to hit it with compressors, overdrives or modulation effects, I can't recommend it enough. And it seems to work really nicely with that condenser mic on there. Okay, next, we're going to go to a super underrated model on here, the USA Subway Blues. It's based on the Boogie Subway Blues combo. And like a lot of classic boogies, the tone stack is pre-EQ. So to dial this one in, I like to turn the bass and the mids down a little bit and to turn the treble up. I've got the matching Dyna cab in there. It's called Metro Blues. And we're gonna go for Dynamic 2. I'm just gonna kind of move it away from the cap on here. And we'll just back it off a little bit. So this one's a... So this one sounds particularly, this one sounds surprisingly meaty, even with this one by 10 cab, sounds really, really good with a four by 12 cab as well, which we'll hear. Okay, if you hit that one with a smooth overdrive up front, like the BB Pre, and then add a panning delay, you've got a pretty sweet lead time. <laughs> talking about small speakers, but this particular model with the 4x12 Rumble EV12L is particularly smooth and fat. It's gonna add that low end that the small speaker doesn't necessarily have. So this on the neck pickup, same settings, it's gorgeous. <laughs> very underrated amp model there, the Subway Blues. To finalize things, we're gonna go with the Nuclear Tone and the matching Nuclear Tone cab. So in here, I'm gonna start off with a ribbon again. I'll leave it at the stock settings and we're gonna kind of find the sweet spot on here. Probably gonna blend two mics here and use the little align trick that I've talked about before on here. So the Nuclear Tone, it's kind of like the tweed where you can just turn everything up and use your guitar volume and tone controls. I'm actually gonna do that. So I'm gonna start with the bridge humbucker wide open. I'm gonna turn everything up and then I will use the guitar volume and tone controls to find the sweet spot. Then we'll move the mic around and maybe blend another mic in there. So this should be a whole lot of fun. Let's check it out. <laughs>
from full on meltdown tone to a sweet clean there. Let's hit the same cab with the Dynamic 2 mic. It's just my personal favorite Dynamic mic, but I'm going for something a lot brighter with a lot less low end. We're then gonna blend them and I'll just bump the alignment a little bit. So let's have a listen to this. Same settings on the guitar. <laughs> those models of small combos or the Dynacabs based on smaller speakers because they may sound a little more nasty on their own, but sometimes that extra character in the guitar tone is what can really make or break a part. And, you know, for playing hard rock music or metal music, I'm still going to go for the models of high gain 50 or 100 watt amps with the 4x12 speaker cabs. But there is so much more to the world of guitar tones than that, hopefully, as this video has demonstrated. So as always, I would love to hear from you what are some of your favorite combinations of like lower wattage amp models and small speakers in here? What Dynacabs are you enjoying the most? And what would you like to see me cover in future videos? Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.